You're watching HuffPost Live. I'm Caitlin Becker. Here is the brief history of the eccentric Robert Durst, the possibly murderous heir to a billionaire real estate fortune. 1950, Durst claims he saw his mother plummet to her death from the roof of their family home. It's not exactly clear whether he really saw it and whether it was an accident or suicide. 1973, Durst marries Kathy McCormick. He calls their marriage unhappy and sometimes violent. January 1982, Kathy disappears. Police make Durst a suspect, but though his story constantly changes, he's never charged with her murder or disappearance. Kathy is never found. Early 1980s, Durst's college friend Susan Berman acts as his spokesperson during the media fallout from Kathy's disappearance. Winter 2000, police reopen the investigation into Kathy's disappearance and schedule a meeting with Berman. Christmas Eve 2000, Berman is found dead in her Los Angeles home after police receive an anonymous letter directing them to the body. September 2001, the body of Morris Black is found dismembered in trash bags in a Texas bay. His head remains missing. October 2001, police in Texas arrest Durst after he's discovered in hiding, posing as a deaf and mute woman living next door to Black. A day later, Durst posts bail and goes on the lam. November 2001, Durst is arrested for stealing a chicken sandwich at a Wegmans in Pennsylvania and extradited to Texas. November 2003, Durst is acquitted of Black's murder after claiming self-defense, despite admitting on the stand that he chopped up the body of his neighbor. Parts of 2004, 05, and 06, Durst spends brief stints in jail for bond jumping, evidence tampering, and violating parole. 2008, he tries to sneak into his brother's home wearing a ski mask. 2010, Durst sits down with Andrew Durecki for his first interview that will be used in the HBO docudrama The Jinx, The Life and Deaths of Robert Durst. 2013, Durst is arrested after violating a protective order by showing up to his brother's home again. February 2015, HBO airs The Jinx. Durst captivates viewers with the candid interview and his creepy eyes. March 8th, in episode 5, producers uncover evidence connecting Durst to the letter sent to the LAPD about Berman's body in 2000, a letter Durst admits in the show only the killer could write. March 14th, FBI arrests Durst in New Orleans on a warrant from LA. March 15th, HBO airs the final episode where producers confront Durst with the new evidence about Berman's murder. He denies involvement, but audio captures Durst talking to himself in the bathroom saying, quote, what did I do? Killed them all, of course. March 16th, Durst is officially charged with first-degree murder for the death of Susan Berman in Los Angeles. He also faces weapons charges in New Orleans because he was caught with firearms at the time of his arrest. 